Hey guys, so I just wanted to go ahead and check in with you. Um, before I jump into this video though, I wanna show you my hair. This is actually the same hairstyle that I did in my pin curl video. I just took the pin curls down so I could moisturize my scalp and they had a little bit of a bump to them so I just left them as a bang and the rest of my hair is just kind of, you know, pinned back and hanging down a little. So I just wanted to let you know exactly what I'm doing. I really like this style and please feel free to go check out that video. I'll try to include the card somewhere on one of these sides but um you know i think it gives you multiple styles in one because i wore the pin curls for about a week and now i'm going to wear these for a few days before i actually take the twist down and keep the flat twist in so it's a really awesome multi-faceted style uh that keeps your hand out hands out of your hair and allows you to rock a style for a long period of time anyway so back to the task at hand this video is actually going to be addressing a common theme among people with locks or even natural hair loose natural hair which is um, negative reactions from family members and friends. So one thing that can be really discouraging when you're trying to start your lock journey or, you know, go natural is that, um, you know, you don't usually get a lot of support from your family members and friends. Um, heck, even coworkers sometimes, different people who, I don't know, I mean, it can sometimes I feel like it is purposeful as they say negative things. Other times they just say really kind of thoughtless things about your journey. That really has you questioning your decision um so let's start talking about like when you first start your locks you know some of those negative comments you might get is you know why would you lock all that pretty hair or you really want locks you know are you gonna have to cut them when you're tired of them you know all of these negative things that people are saying uh about your journey which is it, it gets inside of you you know because for you maybe you already were kind of nervous about the journey and they're saying are you gonna have to cut it when you're tired of them you know, that already kind of insinuates that you're going to not be able to last out having a pretty long or healthy or happy journey, you know? Um, why would you lock all of your pretty hair? Well, you know, it's still hair. It's still pretty. You know, it's just going to look a little bit different from now on. Uh, you know, just that kind of negative feedback can tend to get in your head. And then people who want to go natural, even as a loose natural, you know, let's say they cut their hair or they're transitioning, you know, when are you going to do something about your hair? You know, when are you going to throw a perm in your hair? Why do you walk around with your hair looking like it's not combed? Or, you know, people who on the less direct side of things like, oh, so, so that's going to be a permanent thing? Or, so you're not going to perm your hair anymore? You know, those kind of offhanded comments. Oh, it's it's interesting it's different you know where they're just not really giving you a lot of confidence you know but one thing I have to remind you is that these journeys are about you these journeys are all about you your needs <laughs> what you want for your channel okay and so the reality is if you are going into this journey you need to have very solid reasons that you want to lock your hair or that you want to become a loose natural uh, it cannot be based on other people's perceptions because no different than, you know, the caterpillar who's going to one day become a butterfly. You know, we start out in this phase where we're, maybe we don't like exactly where our hair is, you know, but that doesn't mean that that's the pit stop, you know. So we have to kind of figure out, OK, how can I learn to appreciate my hair in its current state and how can I get to a place to where I keep my long term goal in focus? Uh, you know, just like a caterpillar, it kind of starts out, you know, doing its thing, eating, doing everything it needs to do, and it goes into its sort of cocoon, you know, where nobody can really see uh, the whole purpose of it. Why are you doing this, you know, Mr. Caterpillar? But at some point when it emerges as this beautiful butterfly, everybody is like, oh my God, you know, you're so beautiful, you're so this, you're so that. And, you know, not a butterfly stunning on him because, hey, everybody was trying to sleep on his journey, right? And that's a lot of times what happens when you have locks and when you have loose natural hair. Nobody wants to appreciate those kind of beginning struggles. Nobody wants to appreciate your cocoon phase where your hair is going through all these weird transitions, just like with locks, that frizzy stage when your locks kind of puff up, they stick out everywhere and do what they want, you know? Um, when you're loose natural, when your hair is like this when you wake up, um, when it's hard to comb, <coughs> before your curl pattern is even identified, if you even have one, um, that little TWA stage and that kind of middle ground stage where you're still trying to figure out what the heck you're doing and learn about your hair, right? That's your cocoon stage, okay? 
For some of you, maybe you're still in your caterpillar stage, but for some of you, you're in your cocoon and you're trying to figure out when the heck am I going to become a butterfly? But I just need you to stay encouraged and stay persistent and take care of your hair the way you need to. Just like people didn't understand why the caterpillar needed to be in a cocoon, people may not understand what you need to do to keep your hair healthy. They will not understand why you can't press or straighten your hair every week. You know, with your locks, they won't understand why you can't retwist your hair every single day or every single week. Okay, they're not going to understand what you need to do to keep your journey healthy. But you have to remind yourself, okay, this is my cocoon. This is all part of the process. I will become the butterfly stunned on them one day, but I have to stay true to my journey. If the caterpillar listened to others and didn't do his cocoon the way he needed to, then that long-term picture of him being that butterfly would not have looked the same, right? So I need you to understand that with your journey, if you don't stick with what you know is good, just because it doesn't look good to other people, you're going to mess up your journey and long term you will not have long healthy hair or even shorter healthy hair whatever you're looking for you know your locks will either not form properly or they will be weighed down with buildup or they will be damaged from excessively coloring or retwisting you know with your loose natural hair your ends will be jacked up you will have heat damage there's a lot of negative things that can happen if you try to go with all these trends and go with the flow of what everybody else is doing or what everybody else thinks you should be doing when half of them aren't even natural let alone having locks or having just regular loose natural hair you know that's like the butterfly i mean even even the caterpillar why would the caterpillar go get advice for people who aren't trying to become a butterfly or who aren't a caterpillar they have no idea what the journey looks like right so i want you to stay encouraged look to your fellow caterpillars and your fellow butterflies for healthy feedback and do what's best for your hair and your journey and go stun on them folks you will get there okay your hair doesn't get long overnight, but you will get there. And I'm right here with you, cheering you on. Go on into that cocoon. Go into the cocoon. You got this. You got this, okay? Even when you're a caterpillar and people try to sleep on you, I want you to stay encouraged and you got this. So go in the mirror, look at yourself, picture me over your shoulder saying, ah, you got this. You got this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I got your back. You are beautiful, you've got this, your hair is going to flourish and learn to appreciate it because every part of the puzzle comes together to give you where you wanna be, okay? So please, please, please stay encouraged and don't let anybody detract you, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's coworkers, whether it's that random person on the street, whether it's that guy you thought was gonna be your boo, whether it's that female who, um, I didn't have a word for her, but anyway, whether well, it's that girl that you were talking to who was like, why don't you cut your hair or why do you grow your hair out or why don't you comb it? You know, whatever, right? Do not let them distract you from where you're trying to go. Okay, guys? So thank you so much and I hope you have a good one. All right, bye.